know which way it's going to go. <laughs> I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Bridge is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, Sen? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused.
Gillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Gillian, don't lose him. Way too many times. You always let him disappear. Where is he? Where is he gone? Where is the wrong world? He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. in a way that nobody else did. Do you think she remembers him? You can't go up there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. He's the reason she's alive at all. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear.
she thought she had light within her when she was blind. She is pure darkness. He didn't believe that she was cursed. He saved you when everyone else turned their backs. The gods feast. The gods feast. The, 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 the gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother. Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Dillian's in the tower. He's there. He saw who she could be. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. Senwa, you've got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you.
Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Balder stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard. Alongside her first dream, she saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zimbel and her past. And Delia's The future. saved you from them. He's the reason she keeps fighting. Just delay, minute by minute by minute. 
special. She thinks she can prove <laughs> They mean nothing. Being special. Gods are just talking. What if the gods are laughing at her? Messing with her. It would be be the first time. Dillian saved you from them. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermon to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Dillian saved you. Dillian cared for her like no one else has. Dillian's the only reason she's still alive.
Dillian never much cared for the underworld. Dimly upon the Druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, the chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sinwa. No! 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 Sinua, your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world that you and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares? Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. Inside. You're disappearing one memory Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. They want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind. And they're going to take it. The Northmen say that they're all father, Odin. Give his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others. The voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it. 
rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. I've reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow me down the street. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of him. It won't let me go. Shenua. My father. He taught me the hardest battles are fought in the mind. Not the soul. You are no coward. Prove that to me in the warrior tribe. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't Gilbert. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. You need me. Do my best.
following me. Leave it behind. And keep moving forward. There's more of them. I think they're moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. Listen to the sound of your breath. In and out. In. And out. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. But you are in control. As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Did you?
she could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, Someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. Reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. 